We've been riding Moto Marini 6.5 CMSO. Essentially, two 650 twin machines. They are an STR and an SCR model. So one's more roadstery and one's more sort of adventure cafe style-y. Considering they come equipped with Brembo brakes, they both come with Pirelli rubber, they both come with a five inch TFT dash. It sounds like a lot of bike for what is 6,699 and 6,999 pound respectively. Let's start with what they are. Essentially, it is a 650cc twin. It's the same basis as the Xscape, the adventure sort of touring bike that we tested a few months ago. So that means you get 61 brake horsepower, you get 54 newton meters of torque, you get adjustable Kaiba suspension, and you really do get a nice package. The TFT has Bluetooth connectivity. You can actually change the theme on the dash. It really is a nice bit of kit. And considering the price at sub seven grand, it looks the part too. So this model that I've spent a bit more time on today is the STR. So this is slightly different to the SCR. So it's got a different front fender. It doesn't have a fly screen. It's got a slightly different tank and seat setup. And it's sort of more that roadster bias, sort of your MT-07, your Z650s, that type of thing. And you've got to remember that this is actually cheaper than all of them. This undercuts them. This is under seven grand. This is 6,700 for this model. And considering that, it really is an impressive bit of kit. On the adventure bike, it weighs quite a bit more than this. It weighs 40 kilos more. So the engine does get a little bit lost in that weight, but on this bike, on this bike, it doesn't quite have that same problem. It does have a little bit more urgency. I've got to admit, it's not got as much sort of character and charisma as some of the other twins on the market. It hasn't got that same sort of punch and that same sort of slick gearbox setup. But considering the price and considering what you get on it, it really is a nice bit of kit. It feels more like a bigger, full of machine. So maybe it's not quite as agile as some as the competition, but in return, you do get what feels like a big bike that isn't built on a budget, especially with the SCR model. The leather seat on it is really nice. The little fly screen's gorgeous. And I think, to be honest, Moto Marini have done a really good job with these bikes. When you look at the market and you look at how much everything's going up, sure, this isn't meant to be the sportiest or the fastest or the most exciting, but it is actually just a really nice all encompassing machine. If you're not too wild on going big and sporty, you're more of a laid back type of rider, this bike really will look after you. It is an incredible all round package that is covered in components that are far better than that sub seven grand price tag would suggest. And I've got to say, the off-road run really does look trick as well. The finish on it is gorgeous. And just having that little fly screen and that high oh my God and them spoke wheels, it just completes it. If I was to choose between the two, I'd go for the SCR, I'd go for the off-road one. And to be honest, at under seven grand and under 6,700 for this, I think they are both really good bits of kit.